Hello, everyone, and thank you for tuning in. My name is Shaden, and I'm here with Joomla Dev. In this video, we'll look at Joomla 4 Beta 6 version. Uh, this was released almost 10 days ago as of making this video, but since I was traveling, I did not get a chance to make a video. So with apologies out of the way, let's get to it. This seems like a major release here were for Joomla 4 as the lead contributor, the person responsible for getting this released, George Wilson said that this might be the last Joomla 4 release, uh, beta release, before a final uh, version would be released. Now there is, you know, some comments here that suggest otherwise that it may take some time but it does look like Joomla 4 finally would see the light of the day. With that out of the way, let's try installing this and see what new features we have. So we'll just say Joomla 4 beta 6 website. All right, put in a real name, that's me. All right, super secure, oh, okay. The password has to be super secure now. Okay. Wow. Okay. So it does look like it has to be like extra secure now. So that doesn't work. Admin doesn't work. Joomla doesn't work. Joomla at one, two, three does not work. All right. And Joomla for yeah, well, something like that will work. So, or will eventually be released, right? We can have a password like that. Uh, oh, okay. This is for email. Okay. Super secure password. All right. Just the database information. Might take a second or two. All right. That was quick. Move installation folder. Yes, complete an open website. And I will open up the administrator. Okay, password on the clipboard since I don't remember it. Okay, so it says here are the some of the improvements that have been made on the backward compatible. So this is more of a technical thing, you know, where the a name class was fixed. Uh, this says major improvement to the front end template and there is also, you know, improvements to the 3.9 branch. So just to give you some perspective here, Joomla 3.10 is going to be more of a bridge between Joomla 3 and Joomla 4. So it's very important that Joomla 3.10 has pretty much all the features that Joomla 4 has, right? Or at least, uh, you know, to put it in a, in a different way, any extension that can run in Joomla 3.10 should be able to run in Joomla 4 as well, you know, without little or no modifications. And this is a major feature. So it says all mail uh, sent by Joomla now uses the mail template feature. Um, I think in one of the previous videos, if you've seen all of my videos, you would have noticed that there is a new email templates feature here, which, you know, lets us edit all of these emails from the backend itself. All right. So Initially, what we had to do was if we wanted to edit any of these emails, uh, we'd have to modify the language strings because these were language overrides. Now, I think they're still language overrides. They've just been arranged better. So it makes it easier for someone to modify this. So when I you know, create new, I'm basically creating an override for this language. And I can just say whatever I want to type here, right? And these are the tags available, all of that. So with this release, what it looks like is all of the emails that go out of Joomla are now available to be edited from the Joomla backend itself and are using, more importantly, are using this new templating feature. So nothing is hard coded anymore in the language files. You can edit all the emails that go out from the Joomla core. And I think this would be for other extension developers as well. So when extension developers are sending out emails, those would also be visible here and may be editable as well. I think it is done that way, but uh, it, it is something we'll see. 
Uh, let's look at the front end to see what major improvements have been done to the template. So this does look a little smooth, right? And we don't have any content. So let's go ahead and install some sample data. This will create some menus, articles and stuff. So we reload and there you go, right? So yeah, yeah, that's, that's a major improvement, right? And so we can see. And another thing, I think Tim told me earlier today, Tim from Basic Gym Life, you don't know what he is. He is, yes, he's a human being. Uh, he told me that Joomla 4 is probably going to be using Bootstrap 5. I don't know how true that is. Um, let's see. This is still using 4.5. But yes, in the newer version of Bootstrap, Bootstrap 5 is out. And it could be that, you know, when the time is to release this, it may eventually come with uh, the latest version of Bootstrap at the time of the release. And again, that's something only in the template, right? So this version of Joomla has been done in a manner. So uh, all these front-end libraries, whether it be JavaScript and uh, Bootstrap or all of that have been left on the template level, right? So Joomla still uses it, but uh, on the template level, the template developers have much more control to see what library they want to use, whether they want to use Bootstrap, whether they want to use UI Kit, you know, from Uteam, or whether they want to use Materialize, you know, the Goog one from Google, or anything else, right? Like, or maybe no framework at all. So it's it's yet to see how the template developers would end up using this feature, but that's something I've I've heard that the newer version does give us the flexibility. And you know the newer version also this default template as you can see also has drop down menus, which I think is something Joomla has not had before. I mean it, this is a little smoother. The last template did had it, but it is a little smoother, and. With that, and I think that's it. Those are the only new features that exist in Joomla 4.0 Beta 6. Like I said, I think it's very exciting to see this coming, and hopefully this might be the last or the second last version before a final Joomla 4 version is out, which can be used on production sites to start production sites Along with that, I think there will be a Joomla 3.10 version as well, where we can upgrade our Joomla 3.9 sites, 3.10, and then take them to Joomla 4 directly. Yet to come. Thank you for watching. You have a good day.